Hello, I'm Mick Scully, Vice President of Product Management in the Access Routing Technology Group here at Cisco. On behalf of Cisco's Think Inside of the Box contest, I am excited to give a quick update on the contest and announce the finals for moving on to the next phase. These finalists will now start to develop their applications on the integrated services router and will get a shot at winning $100,000 in prize money. But first, we want to say a big thank you to all the teams who sent in their proposals. We were thrilled with the response uh, from close to 900 registrants coming in from 75 countries. As you may recall, the challenge was to come up with an innovative proposal to develop applications on the ISR using the applications extension platform. We were truly amazed with the diversity of the high caliber ideas. In fact, we had a very hard time selecting the finalists. However, we are confident that we have picked the right teams to move forward. Our top 10 teams come from four different continents, with three teams from North America, three teams from Europe, and two each from South America and Asia. Among the finalists, the majority of the proposals focused on unified communications and enhancing collaboration. A few others looked at infrastructure-based applications, while yet others looked at ways uh, to monetize the value of the network as a platform. All the proposals were very well thought out. With that said, let me introduce the finals to you and give you a flavor of their ideas. Remember, these are in no particular priority or ranking or order. From North America, we have three teams from the United States. Two Stanford University postgraduate students made the cut. They call themselves the Service Enabled Networks, or SEN, and have proposed a mechanism to develop live stream splitting for multicast applications. Unlike traditional content delivery networks, their proposal leverages the AXP as a live stream splitter and replaces the additional content delivery nodes at the edge of the network for better network efficiency. Building on the fact that security is never enough, our North American, uh, second North American finalist, Team SNAT, has proposed a security and network assessment tool on the AXP to identify network problems. With this, they hope to provide additional visibility into network events, utilizing proactive discovery and performance monitoring. The third North American team is a brother sister duo call, calling themselves Cupertino Systems. The RIMS solution provides mid-range hotel and their guests with a suite of rich interactive media services that can, for instance, control the front desk services or in-room services and conference room services. These include video conferencing facilities, HVAC system control, and kiosks, all hosted off of the AXP. Moving to South America, we have two teams from Brazil, both proposing unified communication solutions. The first one, Team Jinjin, is a team of three people who submitted a proposal for highly scalable, fault-tolerant, event-based platform for UC applications hosted off the ISR. They hope to simulate applications for software as a service, or cloud computing, except in the branch and relevant to the branch. Our second finalist from Brazil, Team Camp User, has a, a proposed a, a phone call validation application on the Cisco Unified Communication Manager Express that extends local authorization capabilities available today on the ISR and helps with call validation. They think this uh, integrated solution will simplify unified communication deployments in the branch. As expected, the European teams bring some diversity, both in terms of the countries they represent as well as the proposals they have submitted. Team Bugs Bernie from Germany has proposed a fully integrated surveillance system to help combat crime in an innovative manner, exploiting the current services of the integrated services router. They call their solution Office Guard. The second team, RS Devs from Russia, has submitted an innovative solution that lets users with flash plugins call SIP and H323 phones and to join audio and video conferencing. So since Flash is available on a majority of desktops, they think the solution will address a broad range of users. Our third finalist, Team Mad Network from Spain, has proposed a building automation services application complete with remote monitoring, operation of real estate facilities like lighting and plumbing, HVAC, fire, flooding, etc., and using SMP-based management. This team currently seems to have its pulse on the recent trends in the whole building management space. From Asia, both finals are from India. Team Ideate, our second trio of entrepreneurs, is proposing what they call a cool application suite for the uh, unified communications to bring additional parity with traditional TDM PBXs. Their suite is quite ex a, a comprehensive, and they've addressed some of the broader issues we've heard from our customers as well. Our second team from the Indian subcontinent, Enhancers, plans to create an advertising mesh platform with integrated services router. 
Their aim is to target new segments not served by current solutions and to ex extend ad serving uh, capabilities to rich media channels such as televisions, phones, and displays. We congratulate all the teams and we wish them the very best. Well done. So what's next? All our finals will get uh, access to Cisco's lab infrastructure for a period of uh, 90 days to convert their paper proposals to tangible proof of concept applications. After that, we will have a panel of external and internal judges weigh in uh, to decide the top three winners of the prize money of $100,000. We'll be announcing the judging panel shortly, and we hope to announce the winners in September of this year. We're eagerly looking forward to seeing the contestants unleash their creativity and bring their ideas to life. You can help cheer the finalists and uh, encourage them with your comments and suggestions online. So don't forget to keep track of each team on the contest website and continue to get updates on the Cisco Innovation blog or through uh, Cisco Geek's Twitter feed or our Facebook page. You'll find links uh, to these uh, on our contest website. For those of you who did not get a chance to enter the contest, remember you can still leverage the Cisco AXP as a platform for applications development. You can try out the VMware Virtual Blade for free, or you can access the new partner solutions, most uh, recently being ones from Infoblox and SingleWire. We continue to encourage out-of-the-box thinking as we push the boundaries of the open router. If you're rethinking your branch router strategy, just ask yourself, what do you want your router to be? Thank you all once again, and my personal best wishes to all the finalists. Bookmark the contest website and stay tuned. This is going to be a fun ride.